Okay, so just to continue, uh, this is how you plug in the battery, the battery adapter. The release here, you see from here. Okay, so this is a, this is a cord going down until the, the charger, battery charger, which has uh, an output here. DC 7.9 volts output. And you just plug this to 220. This is for the converter. Okay. And uh, you can connect any of the SDI uh, ports to the Atem Blackmagic Design switch. And one more thing. In, so this tripod, you can figure out how to use it. Uh, the new thing is the, the other thing that you might not know yet is th there is th there's a there's a big screw here at the bottom of the tripod. If you unlock it, you will see that the whole camera can tilt from left and right. This is not a problem. This is a design, so that if your tripod is not level, you can actually see a level bubble here if you are tall enough to see it or you can use your camera to level the camera and then when you see that the bubble is in the middle then you can tighten it from under here and so that's how you level the camera even if the floor is not level and the the handle for the tripod is long enough so that even if you are short you can still control the camera from down. Of course, you can adjust that. You can adjust the the angle of this to be like this, so that you can make it like this. Okay. This. Okay. And then, aside from that, you can also make this loose wait lang make this loose so that you can I wonder how you can see it you can make it loose so that you can shorten the okay you can shorten the the handle of the tripod this is it has a spring supposed to be but the camera is too heavy for the spring so because the camera is too heavy for the spring if you tilt it back it can hold some but if you tilt it front it will fall by itself but it has some 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 kind of spring it will not totally uh, fall I think it's I didn't balance the camera properly. Let's try to loosen. Now how to remove the the plate? Eto, you have to loosen this. This is the tightening of the plate. If you unloosen this, the camera can move, but it will not fall. It can move back and forth. So I can move it back and tighten it. And now as you see the camera doesn't automatically fall to the front. This camera makes funny sounds if it's not on. That is the lens making sound, but when you turn it on, that is the optical stabilization. It makes sounds when it's off, when it's on, it's suspended with electromagnetic, so it's, o it's okay. That's no problem at all. There's another lock here as you notice a while ago when i loosened the other lock here the this plate would slide it would slide but it will not fall off because this is still locked so you have to use two hands you loosen the other one and then you loosen this one for the camera to come off so i don't know if i can demo that with one hand okay but it's better to lower the tripod to 
lower the tripod so that the cam you will not have a problem because I am at all but I still have problem unmounting this if I don't lower it. This is the lock for the for the tilt and this is there is a, another adjustment for how fluid the tilt is. This is the lock for the pan. This camera is this tripod is a little bit uh, but maybe this is the cheapest of the big ones and all the controls of the camera you can just find out this is auto white balance this is uh, what is this zoom you can use the manual you can use this zoom or you can use the servo so that you can use the zoom here or the zoom button here so the switch these are for audio as you see the lens is very big that's why expensive big cameras are expensive because partly of the lens ND filter if you're looking at the sun you don't want to adjust the gain too much this is like sunglasses so that the sensor will not be burned by the sun so when you are in dark you just keep it off if you put it up it's auto focus it's manual focus this is the focus ring and if you want to just make it infinity focus or auto focus push just push here just put it back to Focus assist if you want to see like the grid lines or the red lines. This is the iris control. There are three levels of gain here low, high, medium, high. And this is the iris. So normally you want it to be as low as possible to reduce the noise of the video, video noise, the grain. And then you try to reduce the gain. Otherwise, you can just put medium and high. White balance, you can have uh, two white balance presets. You can have, for example, B for the stage. You point it to a white uh, object in the stage, put long press white balance, store that in the B. And then if you need a white balance for the audience shot, put it to A, point something to something white in the audience, long press auto white balance. And you have the, if you point the camera to the stage, you just switch it to B. You point it to the audience, you switch it to A. So there's professional cameras have this thing. Bars, if you want to check if the colors are correct. The reason I bought this expensive uh, converter is because the cheap converter, 1,000 peso converter, when I put the bars in the vector scope, the colors are not correct. But this, in this converter, the colors are correct. So this is for the bars, the shutter. If it's dark, you want to put 1 over 30 so that it will be brighter. You can adjust the shutter as for the OG mixer and the zebra and optical image stabilization. If you want this place in the screen, these are assignable. If you are lazy, just put on auto. And none of the controls work except for the zoom. If you want to control everything manually, put it on manual. White balance works, gain works, iris, focus, everything is manual. And we also have scene files here. If you want different kinds of colors. The nice thing about professional or even cheap Panasonic cameras, you can increase the color and other things. And you can save them in different scene files. For example, this one, for example, is for another place, this one for another place, this one for another place. You can save like, uh, it's like the equalizer for the video. And here, this is for audio, we don't use them. You have, if you have a remote control like we use in the jib or in, if you have remote control that is here, you want to control iris or focus here. In zoom, you can plug them here. It's of course the on off switch. You press the white button to turn it on, press white to switch off. This is the zoom. This is the speed of the zoom. This is variable speed. If you, if you press little, the zooming out is slower. 
but the zoom in the handle is only fixed speed if you can adjust the zoom here there's a tape we don't use the tape because we only use the this mode pc mode p2 mode that means we use this one and the signal is uh, supposed to be for 1080 remote ir and the cook i think that's it this is the big camera i hope you will enjoy using it it's an old camera 2006, 2006 model but still a real camera may god bless may you do god's work with this camera amen <laughs>